Good morning, this is Maria Lane and I have this week's um, interactive message for you. So um, I'm not going to choose any cards, uh, or let me start again. I'm not going to give you three choices, I'm going to assume that the following three are just what the universe would like you to know if you're watching this video. I believe that only those who are in alignment with the... Um, the words and the cards will actually be sent this way. So if you're watching it, you're probably one of a select few that the universe has hand-selected to um, be guided to this message. So um, I hope that makes you feel extra special if you're watching this video. Thank you very much for joining me, by the way. And before I get in, I, um, I like to share. There's a fabulous book out there. Was, I've had it for many, many years, probably 30 years now. It's called The Book of Birthdays. And it outlines your profile according to, or your personality, according to the day that you're born. Um, and my birthday is the 4th of March. And the title for people born on the 4th of March is the day of creative isolation. And we tend to be able to be alone and not be bothered by it. And we probably do our best work when we are alone. And I can certainly feel that those words resonate with me. Um, and something else that I like to do, according to the book of birthdays, is oh, I'm happy to share with whoever um, wants to listen my achievements. And you know what? I am. I do that. Because guess what I want to show you? I did this yesterday. I really love it. It's, um, it's a Van Gogh um, copy. I followed her YouTube tutorial yesterday and I thought, how cool does that look? I'm so proud of myself. So I just thought I'd share that with you. And if you know the book um, or if you haven't heard of it, I think, you know, it's an interesting one to have on the coffee table. And, you know, you look up your friends and your children or your partner and it gives you a little bit of insight into, you know, their persona. And the other thing I'd like to do, two, 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 just showed up, um, is I'm going to have a competition in February. I've got so much artwork that um, I'm amassing here and I don't really know what to do with it all. So I thought, what about, you know, a little giveaway? And because I sh <laughs> spread my um, my creativity over many different, um, what's the word, materials, I'm going to put something together, a pack of Murray Lane bits and pieces and all you need to do is visit my online store, leave a review, or purchase something through February, and um, you'll be in the running. And I can see who's left a comment, um, because I have this special app that shows me people have left a review, so I'll be selecting from a random person from that, that platform. So, but I'll show you what you could possibly win. Um, so these are the sorts of things I've been working on. I've got a little painted pot that could come your way. This is um, just an example. It's not necessarily what's going to happen. This is like a little painted canvas. You could possibly receive one bracelet. Oh, um, you will receive a bracelet. Um, I've got many to choose from. So here's another example of a painted pot. I just, um, just love doing my artwork. Definitely, or you could get a painted river stone. So we have many things here. And this one I actually created for the upcoming blue moon. And I've got a little note on the back of it. Go with the flow. I think that's the message that the universe is wanting us to, um, to really just, you know, be whatever. You know, just go with the flow. Here's something else that I'm actually going to give away during the live feed on the blue moon. It's a little canvas that I've painted. So... There you go, I'll just leave some um, information or the link to my store down below and yeah, see how you go. Sorry about the long intro, I'll put a timestamp there if you're not interested in the lead up. So here we go, this is the message that the universe would like us to know if you're watching this. So the first card is I'll select three, is sanctuary. Take time out from the world, spend time alone, meditate or go on a retreat. Okay, so if you're watching this, I think, you know, over the next few days, leading up to the blue moon, please take some of this unicorn guidance and spend some alone time contemplating what you would like to do. 
I've got a feeling there that, that many of you are at a crossroads and you're unsure about which destination, which, do you turn left or right? Do I say yes or no? Do I, do I, do I? And I think through some contemplation, I just have to write this down, 511, that was a number that just jumped out to me. So there's an angel message there. Um, but also spend some time journaling. I think, you know, to express your thoughts, put it onto paper. And remember, when you do some journaling, just put your words down as they appear and then sit back and read them after a month or so and see what message is reflected back to you. Oh, here we go. So here's the next card. Balance. Oh, okay. <laughs> Take time out to relax. Indulge a little more or less. Set boundaries with your work. Okay. So are we burning the candle at both ends? Are we spending too much time on, you know, what we call life's necessities and not enough on enjoyment? So this card is also a reminder to spend some time just with you, enjoying your own company. I keep thinking massage, day spa, something that will pamper you, um, coffee alone, just to um, immerse yourself in your thoughts. Okay, so we get that universe. There's two cards to take time out and really contemplate. The third card is dance. Okay. Allow your was it? Move your body to music, dance to the, with the rhythm of life, manifest your dreams through dance. Okay, I can feel some resistance coming up with that card already. Ooh, I don't think so. But no, music actually does connect us to the realms of um, a higher dimension. It raises our frequency. So if you're thinking that you don't really want to dance, what about if you can find some balance and... Um, Immerse yourself in that sanctuary through the power of music. Put on some headphones, go and sit in a park, or perhaps by the, um, a waterway, ocean, river, um, creek, whatever you've got close by, and just listen to some beautiful music. Music that's going to lift your vibrational essence. In fact, if you can Google um, you know, the, the frequencies, I think 432, Hertz is one that actually helps lift our frequencies. It's a soul frigio. Um, and just listen to some of those tones. Now, you might need to invest in some special um, headphones because whilst it says it's transmitting at that megahertz, um, our technology will only ever um, play it at a certain frequency that they're designed to do. So, okay, I hope that's very beneficial to you. Before we disappear, let me just look up that angel number 511, just moving the camera out of the way, and see what that number has got to say. Now, whilst I'm looking that up, I'm going to be live, doing a Facebook Live, sharing some messages on Wednesday evening at the time of the eclipse starts here in Perth, which is 8.50 around that time. So I will be online to really share, um, for those who are watching, a card, a message from the universe for you. Okay, so here we go. Angel number 511 is an important message from your angels um, to do with auspicious changes and new beginnings in your life. Well, that's what this whole eclipse is all about. That's pretty exciting. These changes have come through through your intentions and actions to better your life and incorporate a more spiritual approach. I believe that if you're watching this, yes, you are. The angels encourage you to make those changes as per your soul's prompting and intuitive urgings. Angel number 511 suggests that some karmic life changes are ahead of you or are occurring in your life right now. Your angels want you to remain courageous and positive throughout these transitions. They support and surround you with love and healing. When angel number 511 appears repeatedly, it is a message... Um, that your intentions are manifesting rapidly. Therefore, keep your thoughts and your focus positive and optimistic. Maintain a positive attitude about the changes happening in your life. Old and negative patterns and beliefs are being replaced with new and more positive ones. And this attracts and manifests further positive energies and opportunities for you. Relax and go with the flow. Hello, look what this is. Go with the flow. How cool is that? Okay, all right. 
I love sharing my messages. Um, I'm about to go live on Facebook, um, but the replay will be there if you don't get to see it. So thank you very much. I really enjoy sharing my um, intuitive messages with you, and I look forward to sharing another one very, very soon. And happy blue mooning. Bye.